you're a Lawrence Tynes fan, a Morton Anderson fan, Justin Medlock, I know I'm none of those guys. Harrison Butker is extended. He's going to be staying at Kansas State for a long time. So Harrison Butker had one year remaining on a five-year deal uh, that he signed in 2019. Uh, today, he has been extended for four more years on a $25.6 million extension. That includes $17.75 million guaranteed. J.D., obviously, Harrison Butker, and I, and I know I've seen a lot of contentious things, some div- divisive things on Twitter. Some people who, don't, who still don't like what he said in the speech, and that's fine. Whatever. you know, That's off the field, off the field. But on the field, yeah, you can't deny what he, what, how good, great of a kicker he is, and right. it's just you're paying him for, for that. Forget about the other stuff. We're talking about football only. Harrison Bucker has been amazing, especially when it comes to the playoffs. I know, yes, there's some, there's some concerns in the past years of his PAT making, and that's what we talked about on the show before. But as far as playoffs and when it comes down to being clutch, Harrison Bucker has been all that, and this guy deserves every penny he's getting. Uh, JD, yeah. what are your thoughts on this uh, this contract extension that Harrison Bucker got? No, I, 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 you know, uh, yeah, congrats to Buckner. I mean, he, look, he's he. We understand that he's one of the elite kickers uh, in the playoffs. He he's won, uh, you know, a slew of game for us. And so, when you have somebody that is clutch, that is a weapon, uh, then you pay him as such. I mean, he he deserves every bit of this money. Highest kicker out there, uh, highest contract in in NFL history for a kicker. And so, I think, man, he just kind of set the standard, and the precedent, really. Uh, on how you pay these guys uh, because he has been one of those guys that it, that is as solid as you could possibly get. So when you start thinking about kickers, okay, and, and going down in history, especially like Super Bowls, um, he's going to get it right up there with Vinatieri, right? We're talking about this, this synonymous with guys that do well in playoffs. And so, you know, uh, uh, regardless of how people feel controversial-wise, what he, you know, what he says and what he thinks <laughs> – Louis Kirkberg said he can take that bonus and buy his wife some new pot and pants. <laughs> that's oh my gosh, <laughs> it's, that's funny. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, hopefully, you know he he shares it uh, to the like, and she go and, and get what she needs to get and, and enjoy the money as well. So my thing is, uh, congrats to, to 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 Buckner, man, really, uh, because like I said, he's one of the elite kickers out here. Uh, the Chiefs know they got him, and getting here for a longer time is, I think, this is a business. It's what it's all about, right? It's about winning. And so when you have one of the clutch players, man, you, you want to sign him to a long-term deal, and, and they got it done. Now, the question is, it's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money. It's a whole lot of money. Deservedly so, okay? We just know we start looking at uh, people getting signed there's other people need to get signed later on, and it's going to be kind of like one of the questions, Marcus. Uh, but Buckner, without a doubt, deserves this. So, yeah. Yeah, 100%. And I was looking at um, stats here. So, Harrison Buckner's playoff career, he's hit 32 of his last 35 field goal attempts, which is what we're going, t- talking about. When it comes to playoffs and clutch time, he's all that. Um, and he's also 13 of 16 from 40-plus yards and 6 of 7 from 50-plus yards. So, I mean, this guy is a playoff. I mean, here when people talk about playoff years, he is that, and the stats back it up. So, yes, the money, everything was all well-deserved uh, for this contract extension. And, too, I mean, people always forget sometimes, like, I, I, we've been ups and downs of having kickers, having to pick up a new kicker every three weeks. We, we've had that over the last 20 or 30 years uh, in Kansas City. And actually having a guy who you can rely on, like, during the, 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 the Patriots eras, it was Vinatieri came out there. You knew it was, okay, when you get to a certain point in the field, that's a lot yeah. that's going in. You kind of have to have that guy uh, uh, in your special teams unit. If you want to win and be successful in the NFL, you have to have that guy. And Harrison Bucker has been that. So it's like, if you look at all the best teams throughout the years, they always had that field goal kicker, that guy. And that Harrison Bucker is our Adam Vinatieri. Yeah, no, no question about it. And so we know – you know, what he's been able to bring to the table for us. So the thing is, same thing in, in the Super Bowl. If he doesn't kick that one and ties it up, then, you know, the game's over. There's, there's no winning the Super Bowl without Buckner coming in and being solid like that. So I love it because he's he he's one of those guys, man. He, um, you know, he, he's, so, he's so consistent in what he does. Uh, very balanced when he comes out there to kick. Uh, doesn't look like he's rattled gets bothered by too much uh when you know a guy comes in a game and you saying i know this guy right here is going to make it 
You know it. The Chiefs had that guy. They have it on the on, on the roster. And they didn't want this guy to get away. They didn't. So, you know, pay the guy that you know is going to win games for you because he has won games for you, as opposed to searching for somebody next year and somebody else paying him. Uh, and and I don't know if he would have went anywhere else, but I'm sure the Chiefs was like, you know what, man, we want to reward you for all the hard work uh, and things you've done, winning the game and putting us over the top. Uh, we're Super Bowl champs because of you, Buckner. And so there's no question about it. Uh, you know, we we got to take our hats off to him uh, because he, he was able to do that for us, uh, no doubt. And so, like you said, uh, you know, as far as all the other things, personal views, you know, people don't have to like it. Uh, you know, people's going to argue and they're going to fuss about those things. Sure. And rightfully so. Everybody's going to have their opinion about it. But I don't think there's any question what he does on the football field. Uh, and so I, 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 you know, people could be mad at those things. That's fine. And, and sure, have it. But this is something else different. So that's, that's where we at. Yeah. I mean, again, we're not, we're not voting for, you're not voting for Butker to be your president or, or, or whatever. He's your, your, your kicker and he's a damn good kicker. And, you know, you don't have to agree with them. Um, but the, the, the person that put it, his stats are his stats that he's, he's, one of the best, if not the best, and that's between him or Justin Tucker, I, I would say. But, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. the proof's proof the pudding in when it comes to clutch time. And we got a question here from Amda Brown. Does all these extensions to contracts mean the Chiefs are set on the roster and don't care about any other free agents? So I guess maybe a, mainly a question about keeping our own guys, making that be the priority. I I, I do believe Amda Brown, uh, good question, at, at those positions of, of – of, for sure, until a guy gets signed, you, you then you know he's he's here, right? Buckner's not going anywhere. We could talk about these contracts all day, but until a guy is actually, pe- you know, pen to paper, then you know you you can say whatever. Mouth says anything. A mouth can say anything. Then all of a sudden it, it changes. It was the same way with Chris Jones. Oh, we're gonna get a deal done. We're gonna be okay. And but all of a sudden it drug out, drug out all through camp. All of a sudden, we're at the position we might lose Chris Jones. And then people was like, oh, we don't need Chris Jones to do this and do all that. Without Chris Jones, we don't win another Super Bowl. We just don't. But I'm the Brown, these guys are a priority. That's all that means. So uh, can a free agent come in for less money? And I'll go back to it. What I said, uh, if a guy's making a whole lot of money, you become expendable, right? If I can find a guy that can do what you can do for less money or just as good as you can do, then we'll go with that guy. The problem was with Chris Jones, number one, there was nobody else out there that could do what he can do. Just can't, okay? Not even close, all right? Uh, Aaron Donald was the was the guy. Now he's he's retired. Other guys come, you know, in the distant second to what uh, Chris Jones is able to do. So that's the thing. You got to be able to find the right guy for the right money. But if you got your guy, you know he's, he's it, keep him. That's why I believe like uh, Creed Humpy's probably going to be here. I, I I do, I do. So, just uh, hopefully he gets a snap sub higher this year. That's the only thing I ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you get your money or not. Just get your snaps up higher. Yeah, I, I know. I know you hate that boy. You call that joke out all the time. Look at that snap, man! You see this? I said, Marcus, that joke is getting punched in the mouth. You know so. <laughs> because well, every game towards the end of the season, I was like, oh man, like great game. We're like, oh. Very up and down game, but geez, Creed, let's get the snaps up higher. And obviously, if I'm saying that, I mean Eddie Heck's definitely saying that, and Pat's definitely telling him that. So, well, Pat is a baseball player, so it ain't nothing to him to scoop down and get a, a ball. That's that's easy to him, you know. That's True. that's yeah, he's just like ah, I got it, no problem. I'll tell you what, I flip out on my flag football center when I get either high ones or, or low ones. Like, what, that, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.